Welcome back to So You Really Want to Learn Latin and today we are continuing the history of Rome from the earliest days and we're going to talk about the day Horatius saved Rome. You will remember that Tarquin the Proud had been driven out of the city by a band of Romans led by Brutus who were fed up with the way he was ruling as a tyrant and Rome was now going to be ruled by uh, consuls, two consuls, and ruled as a republic rather than as a monarchy. Well, Tarquin the Proud wasn't really so keen on this arrangement, and he, when he was driven out of the city, went to see the neighbouring king, Lars Porsena of Clusium. Now, Lars Porsena was basically an Etruscan. He was king of the city of Clusium, uh, near Rome, and he resolved to get Tarquin back into the city. So, at the head of his army of Etruscans, marched on Rome, captured the Janiculum Hill, and then prepared to cross the River Tiber at the Pons Sublicius, the Sublician Bridge. Uh, and had he crossed that bridge, he would have been well on his way into Rome itself. Now, at this stage, a very brave Roman, whose name was Horatius Cocles, resolved to take matters into his own hand and prevent the Etruscans from gaining access to the city. He realised that the only way to stop this disaster would be to destroy the bridge over the Tiber, the Pons Sublicius. And so, he took two companions, Titus Herminius and Spurius Latius, and these three men uh, went across the river onto the side where the Etruscans were to hold off the entire Etruscan army. Meanwhile, back on the Roman side of the bridge, the Roman army were cutting away at the supports to destroy the bridge. Obviously it was a wooden bridge, and all they had to do was hack away at it until it collapsed and was washed away in the river. Three men against an Etruscan army was quite a big ordeal, but Horatius and his two companions held off the Etruscans from getting onto the bridge, and the Romans hacked away behind them on the Roman side of the river. And just as the bridge was beginning to creak and it was obvious that now was a good time to get back to dry land, Horatius sent his two companions back across the bridge to safety. He, on his own now, had to hold off the entire Etruscan army. And he managed to do this for a few more moments until there was an enormous crash and down came the bridge, whoosh, into the river and was washed away. Now, Brilliant stuff, except, of course, Horatius is on the wrong side of the river. And the Etruscans, and in particular Lars Porsena, are not happy. But Horatius, seeing that he was now in a very awkward position, turned to the river and prayed to the river god with the words, Father Tiber, accept these arms and this man and he threw his weapons into the river and dived in and swam safely across to the other side of the river where his companions hauled him out. And so in this amazing act of heroism, uh, Horatius saved the city of Rome from the Etruscans. Now this amazing story uh, has become familiar to generations of school children over the years, uh, largely through the poem of Macaulay, Lord Macaulay, who wrote um, a very sort of romantic uh, series of poems called The Lays of Ancient Rome. And I'll just quote the opening lines of uh, the, the poem about this uh, act of bravery of Horatius. It begins, Lars Porsena of Clusium, by the nine gods he swore, 
that the great house of Tarquin should suffer wrong no more. By the nine gods he swore it, and named a trysting day, and bade his messengers ride forth, east and west and south and north, to summon his array. So that was Lars Porsner grabbing his army together to march at the head of an Etruscan army to reinstate Tarquin the Proud as King of Rome. Well, we now know he fails because of the great heroism of Horatius. Okay, now there will be more exciting tales of heroism in our next video on Roman history. So until then, keep plugging away at the Latin.